And now, Blind Wave presents Cooking with Blind Wave. This episode, nut-based cheese for macaroni and smoothies and other things. Hey guys, crew Blind Wave here. Shane and Rick. Oh my god! This is my friend, or our friend, me and Rick's friend Cortez. He goes to the college here. He runs a health and wellness channel. He does fitness stuff. I've actually worked out with him quite a few times. Show this boy out of box a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he kicks my ass in cardio and other stuff though, so. Link below in the description, he has something delicious for us today. Yes. yes. What would that be? It's the vegan mac and cheese, and I'm gonna be making smoothies and juices, so yeah, for all the health freaks out there. Oh man, yes. we haven't had a healthy thing in a while, so. <laughs> be a I, hey, I, I've been trying, actually. I've been doing a lot better. So basically, um, we'll show you the ingredients here for the cheese, and then when it comes to the smoothie and juice and stuff, we're just gonna wing that, all right? You guys ready for the ingredients? Potatoes! Sweet potato! Dijon mustard! Onion powder! Paprika! Lemon! Garlic! Coconut oil! Soaked overnight! Cashews! Raw, unsalted! Your choice of macaroni! Cortez is kind of going to lead me and Rick. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've, well, I've had some nut-based cheeses before and they can be pretty darn delicious. I've had mac and cheese. Okay, well then, I, and I have fast macaroni and cheese. I think it's very good. We'll see this, if this compares taste-wise. We obviously know it's gonna be much more nutritionally dense. You guys cook this one, I'll cook this one. All right, sounds good. All right, Cortez, so what's the first step? All right, the first step is you already have your soap cashews overnight. Yeah, soak these overnight or at least for two hours. Yeah. Here's our cashews, they've been soaked. It's gotta be at least for a couple hours. It's gonna drip a little bit, that's fine. So you wanna cut up your carrots, you wanna cut up your sweet potatoes, and you wanna cut up your onion, and yeah. uh, potatoes. All right, All right, so make sure you wash the produce, which we've already done. Do we have to peel the carrots first? No, I don't know, but you probably gotta peel the potato and sweet potato, right? Yeah, well, you don't really have to peel this, you just wanna peel the, the onions. Yeah, and so do we dice the onion up pretty good? Um. Just peel it and then chop it into layers. So you don't really have to dice it. Really. Okay. All right, guys, by the way, usually we have one particular potato, uh, one, or, one or two. Uh, like two. Okay. It just depends on. Uh, we misplaced our potato, but luckily Calvin, because he lives here, has these little potatoes, so we're just going to use, like, I don't know, a bunch of these, like eight of them. So peel the potatoes and cut those. Okay. Them so. A lot of the cancer prevention compounds are actually in like the the outside layers of an onion. Yeah. That tastes the worst and they're like the worst to eat. That's like for a lot of fruits and vegetables, the most powerful nutrition is on the outside. So for bananas or anything, the the very nutritious part is on the outside, but nobody eats the skin of a banana. Yeah. Why would you? Well it's the highest of fiber for sure. True. Cut the carrots, all of them? All of them. Obviously cut the green off and then uh, Yes, yes. I assume, if I remember, if I kind of, I know a little about this, we're gonna blend a lot of these ingredients together? Yeah, well, so when you cut up all the potatoes, the carrots. Well, you gotta boil them, don't you? Yeah, you gotta put them in a pot and boil them first. Okay. So how thin should I go? Um, you don't really have to go too thin, because they're gonna get chopped up in the blender. Oh, but, uh, all right. So is this a hearty enough mac and cheese that it's a meal, or is it more of a side dish? Um, it could be both. It just depends on how much you make. I made some recently, but I made it with a different kind of pasta. It was more of a protein pasta. So since it was high in protein, it was considered a meal. Gotcha. These we did? Yeah, those are fine. Okay. And then cut up the sweet potatoes. Uh, we're going to blend it too, right? Yeah. Okay. Lemon juice on wounds, people. It's good stuff. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> so much worse than alcohol. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> No! Rick! I never cut myself on cooking. I pride myself on it, actually. That you just cool. cut yourself a big time, didn't you? I did. Well, actually, that knife, it, well, I mean, this is my fault. You should have cut with a dull knife, people. And I, I was, I was trying to force it. So. See, with the potatoes, you can cut them up any kind of way because everything's going in a blender. Everything's going to be chopped up sooner or later, so. 
Hey guys, we don't cut anything out. It's a cooking blind way, baby. Anything can happen. The same way to call it. Just ain't that white collar, rich boy, school boy. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, your message for your, you have a health and wellness channel. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, and how do I find that? Uh, it's, uh, I can't see my shirt, but uh, Tat is basically Tats Fitness on Instagram. Tats Fitness on. Uh, let's take this off. Yeah, there you go. Bang. Anywhere, Instagram, YouTube channel. Um, and then I also have like a Tats Fitness website. So just type in Tats Fitness, you can literally find everything about me. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Rick. Yep. And uh, Tats Fitness on Instagram, is it just at Tats Fitness? Yeah, at Tats Fitness. Okay. And then there's a link to my actual plant based page where I yeah. cook a lot of food. So I know you're not, I mean, you're like me. You try to be plant based. Mm -hmm. And it would be awesome. We could be 100% plant based. But I love chicken, I love beef, and I love milk. <laughs> the thing I struggle with the most, actually, is uh, cheese. Yeah. And that, uh, what's that, that umami flavored stuff? Umami. Um umami? Like that stuff, like, I can cut out meat, it's hard. And the milk, dairy, cheese, stuff, that stuff's just that's so good. Uh, I totally agree. That was, that was my hardest thing trying to, when I went plant-based. So are you 100% plant-based currently? Yeah, currently. Okay. What was the last time you had meat? Yeah, like eight months ago. Damn. It's been a while. See, I mean, I do pretty good, but I'll be with my buddies on a weekend, and we'd be going to McDonald's three in the morning drunk, just getting nuggets and everything else, man, so. Yeah, both fingers. So definitely, you know, you should wash all your produce, but potatoes are some of the most sprayed things in produce. True. I know a guy, well, actually my cousin's wife's dad, uh, he goes potatoes. He's like, these are potatoes that sell, these are my potatoes over here. Now, I would never eat the potatoes they sell. That's what he told me. What? Yeah. What's funny is for our recipe in a little bit, we have uh, coconuts. You, I mean, the viewers are gonna see how kind of tough it is to correctly do a young Thai coconut. Uh, and uh, you did it with like a little knife. Yeah, no, which, it was, I mean, it was a struggle, but I got it down. I have like a big knife at home, like this. Hey, there's like nicks and stuff in it from like my early days. Yeah. So like, well, I'm gonna lose the whole hand today. So how did you, how did you and Rick meet? Uh, class. Class. Yeah. Now he was a student or a teacher? I was a student. student. Okay. Rick was telling me the other day, Cortez is one of my few black friends, you know, so I had to hold on to him. <laughs> too much? Damn. I always put too much. I feel like we need more, Cortez. Whenever I make spaghetti or anything. So what's your routine anyways? Like, I guess if you have like a, a diet routine, uh, tell, us, tell us a little bit about that. Like my daily nutrition, <laughs> like I eat on a daily basis? Yeah. Um, so I do a fasting right now, so I don't eat until 12 o'clock, so noon. I don't eat till five, except the day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing, I've been delayed. It's called a one meal a day fasting. Yeah. OMOD, and there's delayed, there's delayed, like delayed, time delayed fasting is what's also called that. And the idea is, I mean, there's a lot of studies done, like fasting is really good for the human organism. Right. Um, like, uh, it increases autophagy, which is you know, basically, it's when your cells, your body goes around and kills uh, damaged cells, cancer cells, or stuff like that. And if you don't, if it doesn't do that, what happens is those cells can multiply and it can be very bad. Um, and also, uh, I mean, there's a lot of benefits of fasting. It shuts down your digestive system, and you know, all those functions of your, of your digestive system and it allows them to rest. Okay, allows your body to catch up on other things. Uh, and I did, I've done a 10 day fast before. Oh. And I felt great, I actually leaned up quite a bit. And I, was eight, I, and I was eating basically junk food, like for the next few years, I didn't really gain much weight. Just because like, it makes your body this really high functioning machine. The fasting just clears all the, all the, co the cobwebs out. But a way to get some of the benefits of long term fasting is doing the, you know, you're doing the, uh, uh, it's a late eating, right? Yeah. Late eating. So you, you wait till noon to eat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what's your first meal look like? Um, first meal, so I eat at the cafe a lot. We have like a dorm on campus. Okay. And it usually consists of like, well, always a salad just because I want to make sure I'm getting my green tea. Um, it's kind of like, kind of depends on what they have on campus, but a He's a poor college kid, guys. So. Yeah, exactly. Unless I'm making my own dinner. Oh, man. Be careful. Be <laughs> safe. But, uh, <laughs> so either something from the cafeteria for lunch, but usually if I'm cooking myself, then it's something high-powered and protein. So for lunch, I would do, like, I 
green smoothie, a PB and J before the gym, just to you know get my greens in and make make sure I'm having enough protein and carbs before the gym. Okay, cool, cool. So what's on your green smoothie? Because we're gonna make a green smoothie here, my version. Kind of like Shane's version. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. You haven't done the broccoli yet though. No, 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 I haven't so, did that one. Okay, you guys see that a little bit. It's surprisingly pretty good. And here's the thing, we have a, a ninja blender. I really want to get my wife's blend tech. It's superior, uh, but this is gonna be a little chunky. You guys have to put up with it. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, you're doing a good job. So just basically a couple clothes or? Yeah, you don't really need to. <laughs> and you do uh, the Dijon mustard and stuff, onion powder afterwards, right? Yeah. So you, okay. Where is it? You can you can put the nuts in the blender now and put the Dijon mustard in. So once it starts to boil, that's what you put this this. Okay. Where is it? No. So uh, you take so, it out of there. You eventually throw it in there all with the nuts, right? Basically, yeah. This is like you the drain the water. Step. No, 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 because it's, it's going to absorb it eventually. Like, it's going to be... You, you see, you're like steaming it. You're basically steaming it, making sure it's mushy. Mm -hmm. And you... I mean, more, a little more water is good for the, for the cheese. Okay, we're thinking about doing, like, whole wheat or flax macaroni and cheese. I'm thinking... can't imagine those boys eating that. Uh, I was actually going to buy... A, get a box of Kraft and just use that. But this serves our purpose really well. So whatever kind of macaroni you want. And what other stuff can you use this cheese for? Uh, I use it for a lot of stuff, so for like uh, chips and cheese on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, I do grilled cheese, anything with anything that I can replace cheese with. So if I'm eating a burger, I, I put it on a burger. Um, that sounds fries, good. Fries, like. So obviously, sometimes, sometimes depending on what you're eating, will yeah. the cheese be different consistency, maybe? Yeah, it would be. It wouldn't be as um, as thick. So. With the uh, regular cheese, I wouldn't put like sweet, pot sweet potatoes or onions in there just to make it a little bit more creamy. Okay. For like uh, chips or something because you don't want to like the chip to break just because you have a load of cheese on it. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get you, bro. <laughs> you need a lid? No, you don't need a lid. Okay. Hope it's the right one. And we have sea salt, which is actually great. Yeah, sea salt From is better sea. for you. Has more, has more, has more vitamins and minerals. I mean, has more minerals in it. And it's something much better than that. It actually is. Uh, Pink Himalayan sea salt, yeah. which I'm sure we, I think we have it here somewhere. So currently I'm measuring the sea salt. You're gonna do, what is this? Whatever it is, it is. Okay. I mean, I'm sure, like some of these things, you wanna taste it, you know, if you need to add more, add more. Yeah, Okay. that's what I was gonna just like, just go off, you don't really need to measure it, but uh, yeah. people wanted the Yeah, I get you, size. I'm the same way, and Aaron's like, oh, Shane, you tell them what you're doing. <laughs> so you're gonna do, then he you on a spoon. Yeah. It's going to be repeatable if it's successful. Right? Exactly, exactly. So you're going to do one and a half tablespoons of sea salt. Okay. Spin it around for you. Hopefully this goes in there. Right, right. You're going to do a tablespoon of turmeric. Okay. I have, and I love turmeric. I, and that's actually one of the things you can put in that drink a little earlier. What are some of the big benefits that you and I were talking about of turmeric? Um, it's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's good for fighting a lot of cells that's in your body. Mm -hmm. um, it's also good so if you have like arthritis or like... Tendonitis too. Ten, yeah. It's, it's kind of like an all-in-one like painkiller. So another good thing for you is ginger. Okay, so you know, just like, you know, I'm going to show you guys later. I know you talked about it. I put ginger and turmeric now in like all my smoothies. Same, same. Yeah. I put turmeric in everything. Like food, like any anything that I'm eating, like just in case, like just in case, just because I lift a lot, I don't want to be too sore. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of onion powder. Yeah. You salt your popcorn with it? No. <laughs> Paprika. Paprika. All right. Then you're going to do the last step is a, a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay. So we just wait for it to boil? Wait for yeah. it to boil so and boil. basically soften up and soak. And the cool thing is, guys, I mean, you can just eat a little healthier. You can just make regular macaroni and cheese and throw this cheese into it so it's a little cheesier. And then maybe for your kids, slowly replace it with that cheese. I mean, it's harder to, like, overnight go completely, like, healthy and plant-based. Yeah. I know I'm 30 years old. I've been trying, and it's real hard. So do we need to put, any, put these in anything yet? Maybe. No, no, you can do it. actually pretty softer than I thought they were. Yeah. That's why I don't want to have you soak it too long because it's going to, it's going to be like slime. Okay. The food processor or blender. So I'm doing this because there's seeds in here. So we don't want seeds in there. And it will pour out. And while we wait, we're going to do a half a cup of Dijon mustard. Okay. Dijon. 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 <laughs> Gotta sound arrogant. It's French. <laughs> I've seen variations of this recipe. I've seen one where someone makes it raw. 
like they basically don't cook anything somehow. Uh huh. I don't know how I don't know how that works really. Like, I don't think you can use carrots for that specific recipe. It just you have to like have a food processor because those like it, it cuts it up immediately. Okay. And like the nuts don't stand a chance in there or whatever. Okay. <laughs> so you're saying we could probably you think we could blend it now? No, no not yet. You gotta wait till you, you put this in there okay. and then you blend it. Okay. okay. So you gotta do a tea, a tablespoon of a uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil, okay. I don't know if this is all gonna fit. So we drain it first, right? No. <laughs> no, you don't need to drain it. But, well, the idea is it soaks a lot of it up. I don't think it's gonna fit, Jim. I think it'll fit. Oh! You're gonna do half a cup of uh, coconut milk. Okay. It's like cheese. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like milk at all. Cottage cheese or something. <laughs> well, it's like it's strained, I think. Whipped cream? I believe it's strained. Yeah. Do it, Rick. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, so it's all soft. So we poured in there, and it, it's, it don't it don't fuck with my uh, my plastic. <laughs> well, mine was plastic. So it's <coughs> okay, plugged in some power. Let's do it. I assume you put a low first, and then um, well, I don't have this kind of high power. Okay. <laughs> you gotta do two thirds so of nutritional yeast. <coughs> two thirds a cup. Yeah, two thirds a cup. Okay. It's gonna give it that color. Yeah, we, that cheesy yeah. color. I want to make sure it's orange. What do you think thus far? That looks like cheese. Now, how long did you let it run for? One run minute. Apart. A minute? After oh, all after, the time we've done before. Like, I got eight minutes. Eight it minutes? Just, it just depends on what kind of blender you have. Like if we have a Weiss blend tech, it would be much faster probably. It'd be like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just pulverizes the chunks. Like I can even tell, this is a above average blender. Well, that looks a lot more like cheese than it did earlier. Yeah, you just gotta let it go a little longer. Yeah. Mine took me like 10 minutes. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. That's a lot more blender though. Yeah. You can just throw this in there and mix it up. Or you can put it in like a pan and, and bake it in a, like a little longer, just to get like that more like a casserole. Yeah. All right, guys, we're straining uh, the pasta now, just so it's a little more runny. That's probably good. Yeah. Blend that shit up there. Remember also that we're doing a couple of juices and smoothies, so this is kind of halfway point. All the other stuff's not complicated. The Calvin the cameraman taste first. Good stuff? Yeah, it's good. Hell it, yeah. Uh, it actually does taste like macaroni and cheese. A little more food like this, you wouldn't be sick as often. So what are you adding to? I'm adding cayenne <laughs> pepper. Dang it, Shane. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spice it up with some cayenne. All right. I like black pepper on oh, my like mac and cheese thing on there. Oh yeah. Yeah? You can totally taste it. Well, the macaroni and cheese texture is still there. The cayenne. Spices it up at the lab. <laughs> <laughs> and you can use this cheese for many other things, right, Cortez? Yeah. yeah. Uh, depending on what you're making, you obviously want to, you know, to experiment with the texture. Yeah. This is pretty damn good. Awesome sauce. I gotta blend it up. It's uh, the lid not locked on. <laughs> <laughs> Did I break the blender? You broke it. All right. Take a check. <laughs> this was amazing. We thank you, Cortez, for that. That's one part of the meal. And now we're going to do some juices and smoothies, okay? All right, guys. I want to do one of the things I do for my kids. If I want to get someone started on a juice recipe, this is one of the first things that I do. Interesting fact about juicing, the very first juicer I ever owned was from Rick's mother. Remember that? Yeah. We'd work out. And, and our idiots would just do apple juice. And now I know you should do much more than apple juice. And they're good carbs and they're good for you. But we just do straight up apple juice. Yeah. Apple juice. Every morning we come, we clean up linen, we go work out. Uh, that was a good time. But yeah, because of uh, because of YouTube videos, Dan McDonald, the life regenerator, and Rick's mom got me started on this really great lifestyle that I haven't done for the past four years up until about six months ago. I'm trying <laughs> to get back into it. <laughs> okay, but this is basically the recipe. I have two apples, Rick. Thank you. It's two apples and three carrots. We'll go ahead and throw all these in here because why, why not? 
and then an inch of lemon with the peel. Okay, and these have been washed. So, you just got your ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the peel has just, like you said earlier, it has like a lot of vitamins, really high in fiber. Lemons are one of the best things for you. They really clear out your system. I'm gonna cut the little stub off. You can leave it on, but I wanna make sure I get more citrus juice in there. So about like that, okay? You can leave the seed in there and everything. Perfect. That could work. <laughs> Guys, this is Blind Wave. We don't cut shit out. Improvise. This is us, we improvise, man. So, one of my favorite, tastiest recipes. Oh, I forgot to mention also. Do half an inch of ginger. Uh, I've done one this big before, but I'm kind of used to it. Uh, ginger, I mean, it has, like we talked about earlier, so many health benefits. It's really good. It's probably the healthiest thing in here. You see that, Calvin? You got it? Yes, God got damn it. it. All right. Ah, little finger. There we go. Ah. Lower yes. high. Ah, uh, high. Okay. Did you shoot back here? Yeah. Make sure you do the ginger and the lemon. Okay, together with an apple behind it to push it down. Woo, hey! Okay, remember, two apples, two to four or five carrots, inch of lemon with the peel, and some ginger. Do half an inch, an inch if you're a beginner. So we're just doing a variety of juices today? Yeah, we'll, well I'll show you. We'll, we're actually gonna use this as a base for our smoothie as well. That's good. Good stuff, huh? That's really good. Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah, it's really good. It's I mean, the thing is, I hate, like, every, you know, like, if I want this every morning, I gotta cut this shit up. It's loud as hell, wakes <laughs> everyone up. And then cleaning the juicer sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Clean yeah, juicer. no. It, clean like, juicer. It sucks to clean a juicer. Tell at all. There's no, there's, you can't solve cleaning a juicer. <laughs> <laughs> they say what you do is just fill your sink up with soap and water and throw it on there and let it soak for a minute and then just. Whatever. I mean, but spray it out. If you want to live healthy, you want to live healthy. So we're going to uh, do another one, and we're going to use it as a base for a smoothie. Okay. Uh, now, now go ahead and juice it again, and do uh, two apples. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, no, I'm going to do one apple this time. Okay. We're going to have a lot of berries in there, so uh, you know, there's already it's going to be high sugar content already. One apple, four carrots, <laughs> part of a lemon. Okay, you're gonna watch me. Hit it with a hammer? Nope, that doesn't work for most coconuts, especially young coconuts. Make your fingers out of the way, unlike the, my dumb ass earlier. Okay. Turn it. You wanna do the next one? Be careful, all right? This? Yes, be careful. Be careful. Be careful with what? The cleaver or my fingers? Boom. Wow. Switch the Calvin. <laughs> Perfect. And actually, I'll show you guys something, okay? You see how the inside of the white flesh, white Thai coconut, this is a young coconut. The difference between a young coconut and older coconut, the older coconut is what you see in movies, they're brown, uh, they have like a... A flaky. It's, it's like a flaky, okay, there's no liquid in it. Okay, what happens is the liquid gets absorbed into the white uh, like the white flesh, and it becomes thicker and harder. This is really thin white flesh in there, and of course, yeah, it's really malleable too. Like you can you can push your fingernail into it really easy. Yeah, and you know the water in here is so pure and so good for you. Get in here, boy. <laughs> water in here is so good and so pure that they were used for blood transfusions during World War II. I'm sure Calvin knows more about that than me. Uh, they are obviously really high electrolytes, uh, the perfect balance of sugars, carbs, and, you know, hydration. Now, can you eat this pulp? Yes, you can. That's, yeah, that's... How does uh, it taste? Uh, it, it tastes like coconut that's not dried and not shredded. And not, and not, and not yeah, dried. it tastes like when you uh, dry something out and then add water to it again. Yeah, yeah. I can't uh, remember what that's called. I'll, I'll show you something though, guys. Dehydrated. Okay. You see how... Rehydrated? Rehydrated. Yeah. You see how this is pinkish? And this is whitish? This coconut's starting to go bad. Okay. The white one or the pink one? The pink one. Okay. This is starting to get old. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I might not even... I mean, it's, it's, actually, it's okay. I've, I've had a real pink before. For today's video, I'm gonna use this first. The white one first. If we need more, we'll add more of this stuff in, okay? For this smoothie recipe, 
You're also going to want nuts and seeds, whatever ones you want. I actually rotate mine, okay? Uh, and uh, I soak them uh, for a few hours or overnight. Seeds and nuts, they have like enzyme inhibitors, okay? But it's actually kind of an anti-nutrient. They're slightly toxic to the body. And the thing about those is like if a bird eats them, it can go through undigested and then a bird, you know, poops it out and then it grows, right? It's because of the enzyme inhibitors. So what kind of seeds and nuts are those? Uh, and these right here are uh, like 10 almonds, whole yep. raw, unsalted almonds. Walnuts. Walnuts and um, flax seeds. Coconut water. I mean, this isn't like the shit you buy. This isn't like this right here, okay? This is pure coconut water, but this has been sitting in a package for God knows how long, okay? And this is fresh, there's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's the other side. And I always rinse it, give, I always rinse it out and make sure there's no flakes. You wanna just dig out the white, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you'll have to, honestly, we're gonna peel it out, and then you're gonna have to wash that wood stuff off. These are basically wood chips, basically, all right? So you can rinse a lot of it off too, but sometimes you gotta make sure you cut some of it off, okay? You don't want that in your room, you'll be like little in there and they, then you can feel them going down. More coconut in there? And here's what I'm gonna go ahead and start and blend this real quick right now. I do that, uh, you know, because the first thing I make, I blend up a little more, that way they break down, they soften up even more because this isn't exactly a high powered blender. Uh, so it's gonna be a little chunky, unfortunately. That's why I'm doing that now. For you guys, I'm gonna cut the stock off because it might just be a little too much. Okay. For the sake of some of these dudes, as in Rick and Calvin, I don't want to overload it. Okay, and actually, I'm gonna do the spinach first. Make sure you get organic spinach because it's also, uh, it's one of those things that are really highly sprayed by pesticides. Big handful. Now a whole banana. Okay, you wanna cut an avocado for me? Avocado, uh, it's, a, it's a fruit. Just like coconut, it's really high in good fats, okay? Sticker. Oh, that works too. Yeah. And we'll just do half an avocado right now. Okay. And then, uh... What about strawberries? Uh, we'll throw one in there. Put the lid on there and blend it. That way it goes down a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. Not how much are you adding, Shane? Dash. A scooch. A scooch. That's not a scooch. That, that's the scotch. That was about a cup and a half. <laughs> that wasn't a cup and a half. And sometimes I do it just like that uh, if I don't want too much sugar. But uh, you know, the sugar and fruit, it's fructose, is really good for you. You can use the core of the pineapple, and actually, uh, the core of the pineapple has a lot of nutrients. It's a lot harder. That'll work right there. I just cut that in half, I guess. Like I said, you want to make sure you leave the core in there. The core is just has a high concentration of nutrients in it. Make sure you eat. The Eat the core, at least chew on it. And uh, if you know if you're just eating pineapple, just chew on the core. You can you can juice in the juicer. Yeah, usually I add a couple strawberries. Berries. Just a couple. Yeah, a couple strawberries in there, and sometimes I'll throw blueberries in there. But go ahead and just blend that for a minute. Something I forgot, guys. That I do in every smoothie. I kind of forgot to tell you about this time. Turmeric, anti-inflammatory, just like ginger. Cinnamon. What do you think? <laughs> it's not as good as the orange stuff, certainly. Well, certainly not. Certainly <laughs> not. It's because it's got more greens and less fruits in it, right? Yeah, but that's, you know, you want greens, guys, you know what I mean? It's not something that... It's not I'm, disgusting. I know, I'm definitely not forcing myself to drink it. And I'll tell you what, like, if you get, like, a, like a high-speed blender, better than this, it's smooth. Like, yeah, it's sm silky smooth. Just to make this even more of a super drink, Remember, this is mostly carrots, lemon, and ginger. Oh yeah, and honestly, I, I think I should have blended a little longer. Uh, when I make this, I, I literally probably make about half this thing full, and I drink it all for basically my first meal. I mean, if you want to win a kid's taste contest, don't put any vegetables in it, honestly. You know what I mean? Don't put sure. spinach, don't put broccoli. I mean, I think, I think really the biggest thing about it is it doesn't taste like apple juice. It's the, it's the big thing. Yeah. Like, it's, I like flavor. If I put one more apple in there, it really sweetens it up too. Yeah, and so that's the thing, it, mm -hmm. is it's it's not incredibly sweet like a lot of mm -hmm. smoothies and stuff like that you buy from the store are. Yeah, but 
the ones you buy at the store, lots of times are, you know, if you buy them in a store in a bottle, they could have been there for months, they're pasteurized. They're highly processed. Yeah. yeah. So I mean. It's only like a couple of good ones, because like. The Whole House Farm's okay. Yeah. They do flash pasteurization, and they run under this UV light that's supposed to kills everything. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, but I, I read their studies on showing that that even kills enzymes. If you, if you heat, if you boil it, it kills all the enzymes, and right. it kills, uh, I think I think it kills all vitamin C, they have to fortify it with like powder. Uh, this is what I have every day, uh, I love it. Um, I've been doing it every day for the past like three weeks, pretty much. And I feel a lot better for having, having do, doing it. So, make sure you guys, you know, if you have access to a blender, uh, as you saw, I didn't put the juice until later. Uh, you can do it without the juice. Uh, as long as you have a blender, you can pretty much do everything that we did on here. Yep. So remember, uh, turmeric, ginger, uh, turmeric has curcumin, which is what is really anti-inflammatory and really good for you. Uh, this is just basically a health drink. If you just had this two or three times a day, you probably have better carbs, fats, and all the greens. The different greens in here, they add up to make a complete protein, so you don't even need meat. So this is probably a better meal for you than all the other stuff we cooked before this. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I think that's about it. Would you, you recommend... Uh... So if someone wants to do a fasting, would you recommend them doing the smoothie? There's, there's like 10 different kinds of fasts. Uh -huh. A water fast is really beneficial for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. And then a, a, right, a level above that, there's juice fasting, which would have been, you know the orange juice, I mean the, the drink I made earlier? That's just liquid. Uh, and then uh, the juicer, what it's doing is it's extracting the fiber, so your body doesn't have to, have to extract the nutrients from the fiber. Okay, fiber is very good for you and you need it, but uh, when you fast, uh, water fast or juice fast, you want to shut the digestive system down. And that's what you're doing with this. You can also go into smoothie fast, and I can imagine it has crazy benefits as well. Um, you know, there's also the grape fast. You know, you just have grapes. So there's different things. But yeah, I mean, if you just replace like you know your eggs and pancakes and cereal with this, you're going to be doing a lot of favors for yourself. Okay. That's pretty much all I got, guys. Uh, I call it a success. Yeah, macaroni and cheese from Tez. Really good. Thank you for coming on. Uh, you know, uh, so make sure you find them uh, at Tez Fitness. Bam. Bam, bam, thank you, man. And then uh, on Facebook, Tez Fitness as well. I'm sure you can find all that. <laughs> give them a shout out, give them a like. We're thankful for them being here. Yes, uh, thank you. It was great. Good stuff. Yeah. Right. We'll be eating that for a while. Yes, we will. Right. Chips in it, all kind of well, stuff. Well, thankfully, Eric will be here, so we'll have it probably few more days at least. <laughs> Thank God for that. All right, guys. Love you. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Go to Patreon. Go to our website. Thank you for watching Cooking with Blind Wave. If you want to see more stupid shit like this, consider supporting us on Patreon.